Known as the bulldozer for his style and physique, veteran Israeli politician Ariel Sharon had an extraordinary and controversial career that spanned more than half a century. Born in British Mandate Palestine in 1928 to parents from Belarus, Sharon was a hardline nationalist. He served as a general in the 1967 Six-Day War and led troops across the Suez Canal into Egypt in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. But he is remembered by Arabs as the butcher of Beirut. As defense minister, he oversaw the 1982 invasion of Lebanon that left about 20,000 dead. It was the massacre of Palestinian refugees by Lebanese militias at Sabra and Shatila camps as Israeli troops stood by which ultimately cost him his job. He was forced to resign after being held indirectly responsible for the killings. Sharon remained in the cabinet, however, and was elected prime minister in February 2001, just months after walking across the disputed Al-Aqsa Temple Mount compound in Jerusalem in an action that sparked the second Palestinian uprising. While his administration was initially seen as the most hawkish in Israeli history, it withdrew troops and settlers from the Gaza Strip in 2005, following a 38-year occupation. Critics on the Israeli right regarded him as a sellout, whose strategy helped hand power in Gaza to Hamas. Refusing to be cowed, Sharon abandoned his right-wing Likud party to form a centrist grouping, the Kadima Party, which went on to win elections in 2006. Sharon titled his autobiography Warrior. It was his health and not politics or conflict that would stop him in his tracks. He suffered a massive stroke while still prime minister, sending Israel's larger-than-life politician into a coma of darkness for eight years.